What's up everybody, I'm Andrew and I'm a photographer. I wanted to talk to you today about creating your vision and a strategy as a photographer and exactly what goes into this. In my previous life, I've developed strategies and visions for multiple products and technology. So it's always been something that's been at the forefront of my mind. In a business context, vision is seen as over the next five to 10 years, where do we want to be as a product? What value do we want to bring to our customers? And what position do we want to have in the market and what do we want our business to look like? Very similarly, we can adapt this to our photography when we ask ourselves similar questions. As a photographer, what do I want to be in the next five to ten years? What value do you want to bring to your audience? And what do you want to create for your audience? And lastly, what do you want your position within the photography industry to look like? Once we start to ask ourselves these questions, we can really start to hone in on what we want out of photography as a pursuit. If it's more on the business side of things, or if it's just purely for the enjoyment of the craft. These types of questions can help solidify what we want to create as a photographer and the vision we have for ourselves as photographers as well. Like with products, as we humans evolve over time and we acquire new bits of information, our vision will likely be tweaked and changed, but there will likely be the core elements that will remain the same. Let me take you through an example of a vision I did for myself. Become a leading lifestyle photographer with an emphasis on beach and snow scenes. Provide a stylish, clean and minimal finish that's instantly recognisable. My vision will likely remain very similar over the next 5-10 to 10 years, even if elements within it change, or how I want to actually go about achieving that vision change. Since I've picked up a camera, I've been more interested in the lifestyle type of image and the beach and snow scenes are a massive part of my life and will likely continue to be so. So this is the core part of my vision and who I am as a photographer. Then we add in the more aspirational piece. So this has become a leading figure in lifestyle photography. It helps me a lot having this vision set out and makes it clear in my head what I should be photographing. The types of images I want to create and the jobs I should be looking for over the next year or so. The next part we want to look at is the strategic intents so over the next five to ten years, how would we actually go about achieving this vision? This is a really good exercise to think about and vitally helps us think on a much longer term basis as photographers as well. It's be quite easy to go searching for that viral piece of content and really lose ourselves in what we want to create as photographers. And I've felt myself in that bucket many times. In essence, with the strategic intents, we'll be listing out seven key components that will help us actually meet our vision. Another way of looking at these strategic intents is seven challenges that will get in the way of actually us meeting our vision and how we plan to tackle these. So start to think about these, what they will mean, and the importance of each of them for you as a photographer. Examples of these types of strategic intents we could be looking at will include things like posting consistently and regularly on social media with a good quality to grow my audience, get my first 10k clients in whatever industry that I'm looking to work in, and collaborate with people in my photography niche and start to build my relationships within them. Once we have these strategic intents outlined, we can start to hold ourselves a lot more accountable as photographers. There's no one checking in on us like other jobs, so this one's actually super important. So every month, personally, I go back and look at these strategic intents and see how I actually progressed in them. Have I made progress in some areas? Do I need to look at developing more of the other areas. As time and the consistency of our creation develops, we can really start to then look at all the different pieces and adapt our strategy accordingly based on all the data and insight that we're receiving. I'll be covering using data and insight as a photographer in a separate video. I hope you find this exercise really useful and I'd love to hear from you if you've implemented it and how you get on. I've created a free photography ebook which you can find in the link below. It goes more in depth into this topic and contains many more insights and tips. And thanks so much for watching. It's been class sharing these ideas with you and I hope you get a lot of value out of it.